Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 15 of Football Manager 21. This is our youth challenge, Play the Kids, and we're at Tiverton Town. So uh, yeah, hit that like button, subscribe for daily Football Manager content, and I do appreciate that so very much. Uh, you can see the run we have continued on. We did have the loss to Barnett last episode before beating Scunthorpe, surprisingly 5-1. Uh, but then we had a, a friendly win. Uh, we did a clean sheet 3-0 over Sutton at home. Uh, Tim Cook, Robin Mudge, John Bliss with the goals. And then we just beat Yeovil 4-2 uh, away. Tim Cook with a brace, slam dunk, got the start. We had to send... Uh, our number 10 guy off on vacation for a week, and Robin Mudge got a stoppage time goal. Two goals, actually, in stoppage time to uh, get the win there. Uh, we are playing Yeovil. Uh, we'll have highlights for that. Then I'll play Salisbury off camera, and then we'll have Mansfield, uh, who is who we drew in the FA Cup second round, and they are in League One. We actually had another club. I believe they were from League One, come in and offer us a job, but I don't remember who it was. That's so funny, Brighton and Hove. League One, yes. <laughs> I don't remember who it was, but uh, yeah, it was a League One, or was it a League Two side? It was Crawley. That's who it was, now that I see the name. Uh, Crawley in League Two. So uh, the clubs are stepping up to the plate. But again, doesn't matter. This is a single team save, and uh, that's what we're going for. So, all right, let's get to the highlights. I'm always leery of playing clubs back to back, but we get a Hemmings header uh, at the near post, and it goes past Alcott John for the opening goal of the match 1 0 to Tiverton. And then this one goes over the top. Williams is back in, and he picks up where he left off. This is his first match returning from injury, and he is back on the score sheet. And a 2-0 victory over Yeovil. We get $7,000 for that. His Cuierto was really good. Five tackles, one. So let's praise his defensive work. Taking a look at the table, we are currently uh, 11 points up on Borum. And looking very solid here in the first half of the season. Still a long way to go. Still a long way to go. Seems like we've played a lot more than 17 matches, let me tell you. Uh, all right, I do have a league match. Oh, it was rescheduled. We had one in there. All right, well, we're playing Mansfield up next. So we've got another 56,000 profit this month. Uh, thanks to that FA Cup win, which has reduced our losses to 27,000. So that's huge. We could use another win or two if somehow we can figure out how to do it. But uh, it, it's going to be a stretch. So uh, let's get to the match. We are playing a League One side. So there are several tiers above us in the pyramid. All right, we're going to go with Humphreys in goal, Hugel, Hemmings. Brown is Cuierto on the back line. Remember, Allard and Tierney are both suspended for this one. Rawlings, Bliss, and White in the midfield. We're going to move Cook back to the number 10 with Williams returning. Mudge and Williams, the strike tandem up top. But I really want Cookie on the field. He has been such a force for us this season with 12 goals and a lot of assists. I think we need to have him in there. So Graham Williams is still looking for Matt Sharpness. He may not make it the whole game. And if that's the case, we'll move Cookie up front and bring our regular starter in. Uh, huge underdogs. Is it? Uh, I'm drawing a blank on the name. Nuevo, that's it. All right. They've got the throw. We're in white. It's headed out. White is on to it. He's got three people closing him down. 
crossed in, and Rawlings takes the shot, but it goes high. And, oh, that would have been a nice, nice goal in the early going. Hugel tracks back and picks up the loose ball, gets it back into the attacking third. Brown over the top, White down to Cook, and there's the shot. Forces a save by Rodgers, and he makes a big catch. Uh, Bliss got turned around before he could get on that ball. Chested down by McVeigh. Bliss is beaten, but Humphreys makes the stop. We're going to go ahead and encourage the boys. I waited a little bit longer this time. Mudge breaks through the tackle from Karoma. It's headed down, and it's Cookie that puts it in. Number 13, Graham Williams with the assist, and we have snuck a goal in the 12th minute. It's Tiverton Town 1, Mansfield nil. Mudge with a big play breaking through that tackle, and that has worked out very well. I wonder how, oh my goodness, was he off sides? Oh, there was a handball. Ah, come on. It was the hand of God. That was allowed at one time, right? <laughs> I agree, but where am I going to put him? On the bench? Don't think so. Let's encourage him again. They have had seven shots to R4. We've had the better XG. Possession's pretty even. Cook takes a corner. The header's in. It's Quentin Hemmings back from suspension, his fifth of the season. And that gives us a 2-0 advantage. Mansfield nil, Tivies 2, and it is looking good. Fishy Face has got to be going insane right about now. Shout out. He is a, a real-life Tiverton Town fan. Uh, just started watching uh, episodes yesterday. So I am a little ahead, so it'll take you a little time to catch up to this one. But uh, definitely appreciate you finding the series and uh, checking it out. Uh, I'm delighted with your performance. I'm pleased. Keep it up. Keep it up. We're going to give him a spot of praise in the early going. It's Cook again. And it's in. Quentin Hemmings with a brace off of set pieces. And he has torn the game open single-handedly. Definitely up for player of the match right now. Oh, Rogers got a finger on it. Not enough to push it wide of the mark. All right, I do see a move I want to make here. Uh, John Bliss is struggling. Let's bring on... Uh, you know what? I am going to bring on Luis Nievo. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to play him. He can't mark, but he can pass and everything. So we'll move him back there and see if that does, you know, if he can get the job done back there. Cook into the box. It's headed away. Nuevo's on it. And he stumbles with the ball. It's cleared away. Brown's on to it, though. And he lumps it back to Humphreys in goal. And we will reset, take a deep breath. White. Oh, uh, it was a little far from Williams. Not the best ball. All right, there's Nuevo. Punches it out to Rawlings in the corner. There's the cross in. And it's cleared away from Williams. Couldn't make the stop. And... Lansdowne is just torn through our defense. Makes a run deep into our half, but takes a poor finish. Let's encourage him again. Everybody else is playing well. Uh, Humphreys just runs and belts it. Uh, Mudge fights for the ball. He stays with it. And he takes a crack, and it's just wide of the goal. Oh, that would have been... That would have been a huge finish. Huge, I tell you. Big header, cooks on to it. Into space. He takes a ping from way outside. All right, we do have another uh, tired player. It's Lee White. We're going to bring Bliss Cotterill on for him, I think. Yep, 
that's what we're going to do there. And I think we're going to stay with uh, just two subs for the time being, even though we're in the 80th minute. Oh, that was not, not forceful enough. And lands down. On the run again. Uh, Diego with a poor pass. Williams breaks through. Lays it off. Oh, what a beautiful through ball. And Mudge. Oh, Mudge misses. Oh, that was horrible. The header goes over. We're still 3-0 up. 80th minute. All right. Do I have anybody who can come in on the left side? You know, I'm contemplating. Let's go there. And then a defensive winger on defend. And then we're going to focus play down. Uh, let's focus play through the middle. Let's do that. Since we're going to be holding up on that left side. Uh, there is a foul. How serious. A yellow. All right. Hugo picks up a yellow. I can live with that. Uh, he was not in position. And Humphreys should have come out and got that ball. Christian Delgado runs onto it. Humphreys, he just put himself in a bad position there. Four minutes of stoppage. Three minutes in. And a victory. Can't believe it. 20 to 19 on shots. 8 to 6 on target. 2.36 to 1.26 on the XG. Dead even in possession. They had a little bit better passing percentage, but very, very good win for the Tivies over Mansfield. That picks us up $81,000. Kevin Brown makes his debut. 81000 That should put us in the black. One goal, two assists, and a nine rating for Cookie. And you know what? We're going to actually start training him in that spot uh, and see what we can do there. Oh, my goodness. Now, tactically, he's really good. Just, just position, role, and duty. So hopefully uh, we can get him developed there. But I think we've got a new trio up top. Uh, with Cook in the mix. We do have the third round draw in two days. I want to do that before we end the video. All right, we make uh, 141000 profit this month, thanks to that payoff. That puts us into the black at just under $56,000. That's huge, man. That is huge. They uh, rejected a uh, coaching course for me. And it's too early to apply for one now. So that's disappointing. I wonder, we'll ask him if we can turn professional. Now, you know, we have a positive bank balance, but, you know, no, they rejected it. Stabilize. I'm going to discuss it. Well, all right. This isn't my Bielsa journeyman. That would be grounds to leave. All right, here's the draw. So 69 teams. All right, well, I'm just going to draw until our name comes up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's still quite a few games. Is this the one where we can get... Yeah, I think this is the one where we kind of want a, a, a away game against a really big side. Not a Burnley. Maybe a Chelsea. Or a winnable game. If we could win and then get the big one in the next round, that would be great. Tottenham would have been good, but there's two premier teams off the board. Oh, my God. We're down to the final six. So, Chelsea. Right now, I'm saying I either want Chelsea or maybe Colchester. All right. So, this is one we would want for the big payoff, right? And Colchester. Oh, so, both of the clubs we would want go. That sucks. And we're going to be away against Tranmere. Tranmere's top of the table, but they're only drawing eight, 9,000. 
And they've got a 12,000 seat stadium. Yeah, that's not what we wanted. Not what we wanted at all. Oh, that's, that's, that sucks. I mean, that sucks for us. That is not what we wanted to see. All right, well, I tell you what. Let's go ahead and get a run of games. And we'll come back for Weston Highlights, Tranmere on camera. I'm going to skip over Weldstone. And again, you see we're playing the same club two matches in a row. That's a bad track record of having to do that. But anyway, hit the like button. I think we earned it this time, guys. Subscribe for daily football manager content. Let me know what you think of what's going on here in the comments below. And we will see you guys for some more FA Cup action against championship side Tranmere next episode. Have a good one. Bye.